Okay, thanks. Uh, so I. Ah. So, yes. Okay, uh, just a little uh, ag agenda. Um, I, I will speak about uh, tools, uh, especially for developers, uh, newcomers uh, in source code. Uh, it's my friend's conference and, uh, at the uh, LibreOffice project on first in English. Uh, so it's a big challenge for me. Uh, who am I? So I'm a French community member. I live in Savoie, France, a mountainous uh, region. Uh, in, I especially involved in QA. Uh, I'm a LibreOffice user since StarOffice uh, most of the time under Linux. Uh, working for Arawa uh, at the help desk, um, an open source company in France, uh, mainly motivated to understand how things work under the hood. Uh, before I was a teacher in electric engineering, I have students, uh, and uh, it's, well, it was a different world for me, so I mainly self taught about open source uh, topic. Alors, it's a very uh, experimental approach, huh? uh, so uh, the goal is to share some so. Uh, feel free to test yourself and report anything. Uh, of course, uh, so LibreOffice is very uh, huge database. Um, uh, we need tools to not feel overwhelmed with uh, seven million lines of code, especially for beginners. Uh, of course, uh, we have already uh, some tools. Uh, uh, remember, we have uh, OpenGroc, a text search engine, uh, Doxygen a well-known source documentation project, uh, which provide HTML documentation. Uh, and of course, uh, you can still perform any text search with your favorite editor, uh, automatic completion, or the great tool with smart uh, regex uh, rules. Uh, um, everything uh, is on the wiki. Uh, something. Okay, uh, the story. Uh, so I was interested to have some class diagram, a clear dependency graph. Uh, Doxygen uh, provide this, but sometimes uh, it's complicated to uh, interpret. So uh, I'm looking for uh, other uh, tools, free software. Uh, I'm mainly using VS Code on Linux. Uh, my intention was one day uh, quote by an article about Source Trail. Um, it was a project ed uh, edited by, um, by a little team, a little startup, uh, with, which released an open source version in 2019. So, uh, tested in real world. Uh, the promise, uh, the, um, I don't know, it, it's not a, an advertisement uh, from, from, my, uh, from myself. Huh? I think uh, this project is interesting. So the promise uh, is uh, get productive on unfamiliar source code. So uh, it's the case. Uh, there is always a part uh, you are unfamiliar. Um, uh, it sounds good. Uh, it, uh, the, um, uh, this software can analyze C, C++, Python, Java. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, it's not, uh, it's a desktop, oh sorry, there is a mistake. It's a desktop application. Uh, you no need to be connected to any cloud service if you want uh, to uh, keep your work secret. Uh, it's very fast to set uh, the tools. Uh, you have two parts. Uh, you have uh, two parts. You have to get in VS Code, a VS Code, or, or the idea as a source trade plugin. I will show you next. 
uh, installs uh, source code and gets or gets uh, app uh, image so next uh, maybe you know that uh, compile your libreoffice code uh, you have to run uh, make uh, vi uh, idea integrations uh, because uh, you create a compile.json uh, file uh, which is needed uh, by the application so you after you select uh, the project uh, you create it um, and you uh, launch the an index session uh, oh sorry i feel so um, you need some times uh, because uh, you have to index a huge uh, source code that has uh, some hours are required for indexing and uh, a little space uh, near two gigabyte. Uh, after that, um, you have your first screen with uh, on the left uh, all uh, object uh, in the code with the, the number of object so it's huge of course and on the right uh, you will see the source code uh, here is a first is a little summary uh, with uh, your uh, set uh, seven millions uh, of lines of code um, and you can dive in next Alors, uh, use. Um, so uh, you have to understand that VS Code is connected with source trail uh, and can exchange source location. So uh, if you point, point uh, an object in VS Code, um, you are transported, yes. Uh, at the right place uh, in source trail. Uh, at the bottom of the menu, the context menu, you have a source trail uh, sent location. Uh, so what we'll see next, um, you so uh, I have a little example. I'm interested to see uh, what is in set parameters. It's in the basic uh, directory, the basic language. Basic language. Uh, you have some round box uh, who represent class and with the object uh, in it and uh, the relation between a uh, different object uh, with an arrow and link uh, with uh, other symbol uh, you have to expand uh, it's it's a bit uh, contracted uh, but we will see next in the live demo Uh, and of course, uh, yeah, there is an object uh, which is called P -meth, P method, I think. Uh, so the name is not very explicit. So what is this? Uh, it's a private field. So you can instantly point to it and uh, so the trail will expand uh, its type, huh? in fact, the type of this field and uh, show you what is this uh, really, uh, very easily. So the principle. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so now I will, I will show you the real thing. So it's okay. 
Um, so uh, I have a bookmark. I already prepared uh, the, the activity. So I have a bookmark and uh, I am at the right location. So we see a set uh, parameters. And uh, on the right window, uh, the, the, this method. Uh, of course, uh, I am not, uh, if I see the VS Code um, windows, I am not in the right place. Um, so with the contextual menu, menu, I show in idea. And, and ah, yes, yes, yes. It's uh, the line, uh, <laughs> I, I am in the right place already. Okay, um, so back to so, so trail. Uh, so I, I tell you I can expand uh, any uh, object uh, I want uh, to, to, to see. Okay, uh, it works. Uh, so I have to expand. Uh, it's, I have the type of the link, type views. can, of course, uh, set the window. So I can see uh, what is the type uh, exactly, or oh, oh, other information. Uh, I can't close the, the box and uh, see other, other thing. Uh, if I go back to, to set parameters, uh, I have uh, some links to other objects, of course, attributes. Uh, I can see the, the relations, I think. Ah, it's not a good example. example. Um, of course, it's a point other object. I can uh, have uh, other uh, view. And the, as you can see, uh, the source code um, uh, change accordingly. Um, oh, it's a very, uh, I want to see other things. It's not. Uh, if I point to other version, sometimes I can see uh, inheritance um, sorry, it's too big now. So I have to decrease. Um, ah, yes, for example, you have a inheritance link like this. And, and of course, uh, you can see uh, the inheritance link in the source code. Uh, if you want to go to the idea, idea, so show in an idea, and you are now at the right place. Okay. So, um, So if I want to go back, uh, I, you, I can use, uh, of course, uh, arrow, uh, history arrow, uh, or bookmark. Uh, I have uh, bookmarked, bookmarked uh, precedently, previously. Uh, yes, uh, ah, that, that's why I, I, I'm looking for, um, you, you can have other dependency graph uh, from the SBX method, for example. Is also, ah, voilà, it's interesting. You can see uh, the inheritance diagram. And uh, if you need it. And of course, you can expand uh, to see uh, some interesting. Okay. So, so I think this 
tools, uh, it's interesting uh, to help a little uh, the developer, uh, especially beginners. Uh, it's uh, another way uh, to uh, navigate uh, in source code. Um, so, uh, uh, so the, the demo is is uh, at the end. Um, it's a basic example. Huh? Uh, you can have, of course, uh, many many uh, dependency graph. You you can. Uh, uh, something, uh, of course, you can move uh, everything. Uh, if something is not uh, interesting, uh, you can hide uh, uh, what you what you need. And it's interesting to uh, you can save if you want to illustrate uh, any uh, documentations. Okay, um, so we stop here for the demonstrations. Uh, I will talk a little uh, about uh, the project uh, I have discovered. Oh, sorry, ah, I have discovered it uh, one one year ago. Um, so. Uh, uh, it's not a replacement for the oxygen. Huh? Uh, keep it, of course. Huh? Uh, the oxygen uh, use uh, commentaries uh, uh, in it. It's not the case here. Um, the problem is this project uh, is very little. It runs uh, since uh, 2015, and it's uh, supported by a little team of contributors. Uh, the freeze are uh, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, uh, I think of my uh, slides, and uh, <laughs> the freeze uh, of the project uh, is announced, uh, and the last versions uh, will be at the end of this year. Uh, but why? But because uh, the team is uh, little. And uh, of course, uh, developers uh, want to um, reach uh, other interesting uh, open source projects. Um, so, uh, of course, but um, uh, happily, uh, open source. Uh, so maybe uh, the project will be uh, will have a successor, and uh, the source uh, is available, of course, uh, on GitHub. Okay, that's all, the moment. And uh, thanks, thanks to the audience. Yes, thanks, Regis. Um, and don't hesitate, your English is very good for, for talks. Thank you for the demo, for the very handy um, example um, with this um, tool. Yes, as you mentioned, there were some comments in the um, in the chat room that uh, quite yesterday <laughs> this freeze was pronounced um, for this um, uh, source trail uh, tool. So um, perhaps uh, there will be a future for it, but I'm, I'm sure that it is uh, um, it could be used uh, at least for a few months uh, for doing uh, work, right? Yes, it's a question. Yeah, I I, I ask you for your advice uh, if it is um, um, okay for use this uh, as it it was yesterday freezed as yes. you told us that um, that it is okay to use this uh, tool for uh, for the next months as well. Yes, um, but. Uh, well, uh, uh, I think uh, these tools uh, can, can be con continued. Huh? Uh, of course, uh, we have to talk about 
because I don't know if um, some people uh, knows, knows or use uh, it already. Um, so I will uh, look at it uh, in the next uh, week and month, try to improve uh, this use. Uh, it's free, it's uh, open source. Uh, th there are uh, may, some other proprietary uh, tools, but not uh, so simple to to handle. Okay. okay. So if, if they are some interested in uh, prolongation of this tool, uh, they sh I think they should uh, contact you and you can uh, can build a group for, for promoting. Why not? Uh, why not? Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so any other questions? I do not see anything in the chat room. We have now the chance. Um, hello. Uh, could you provide any alternative if uh, if this uh, application is discontinued alternative um, I, I, that's what i uh, i'm looking for uh, just a, a question i am not the developers uh, i i i i'm looking i follow a little uh, this project uh, it, it's uh, one uh, way to contribute uh, and use and uh, speak about it. But I am not uh, the developer for the moment. Uh, I, I will see the, the source of code if I can uh, do something in it. But uh, that's a, a problem. Uh, I don't know any alternative uh, we, which can handle uh, so big uh, LibreOffice data vase. Um, so for the moment, uh, if uh, something, uh, if someone knows something about it, uh, an alternative, I, I can be interested. So I don't know if it is an alternative uh, for this, this special part of, of uh, this tool chain, but um, as all know, we have uh, this uh, open croc uh, tool. Yes, of course. Office for for uh, but it but it's uh, as you have uh, demonstrated, it's very handy with this uh, with this shapes uh, to to click in and and to go down this inheritance um, tree and so on. I don't know if this is possible in in uh, OpenCroc. Uh, thank you. Sorry? If it's uh, uh, possible, I think it is good to uh, let uh, the developers know about it in the developer mailing list. Uh, I think this this can be a good and interesting issue for the developers. Okay, I do not see. Okay, language analysis is very tricky and complex. Visualizing a giant project is hard. Do you know any alternatives other than OpenCroc? No, he, uh, yeah, Hossein, you asked these questions uh, by yourself. So other questions? If not, thanks, Regis, for your, for your kind talk, for your efforts, and uh, hope we will hear you again uh, the next time with your second talk in, in the okay. Europe conference. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for this talk. And let me uh, perhaps use this... Um, this uh, time between the next um, talk to a little uh, advertising as you see the these uh, shiny t-shirt here um, we have uh, delivered uh, to every organizer and uh, every speaker so if you want to have uh, such an um, t-shirt of the conference of the online conference uh, you can have a look at the conference website uh, there's a merchandising link and there you can can get it so this was a little advertising break for it we have five minutes left so have a quick coffee i will follow on exactly on um, 3 30 because the next is um, a video uh, longer than 30 minutes so we will have uh, not so much time for questions if you have questions for the next talk um, give it in the uh, in the uh, chat room uh, hash lip ocon minus room one and uh, perhaps um, the uh, Raphael uh, could answer it in the uh, chat room but I will uh, say it again a minute before the start of the video. See you in uh, five minutes.